In order for a woman to know herself, she has to know God. When she asks herself why she's here, she studies nature, unless she's a fucking idiot. She looks at her qualities and say, which qualities are like the creator, which are consistent with his infinite justice? I really don't even know why I explain this to you people, because you are shallow, you are weak, you have no heart, and you have been bred to be that way. It is because of this white male patriarchy. In truth, it is a eugenic patriarchy, and it cu couples people together in a way that um, continues to uh, spread and, and propagate falsehoods and compound the problem when it comes to immoral cycles of reproduction. When we look at what you need to know, you need to know God. Number one, his most important aspect can only be found in the black martial artist order. It is too diluted in any other group. Number two, he is not a scientist. Bill Gates cannot begin to understand the spirit of martial arts by using science or computer models or any 3D imagery or any nonsense like that. Only I can. Nor can he understand God, which is expressed only through the martial arts systems. Only I can. I am the top martial artist, only I can understand the cycle of the sun as a message from God. Who cares about the science? We are not here to know a bunch of stuff that we can't take with us in the afterlife. That we can't take with us when we meet our maker. That is not why we are here. That is not respectable when women breed with that kind of cowardly fool. Men fight over who breeds. The non-transcendent sex evolved because they had children that they cared for. They ceased to evolve when they didn't put God above those children. When they started breeding in a way that their despicable parents trained them to. And not listening to the most virtuous of men the black African pure masculine spirit sun temple martial arts order. So they did, they evolved to trap souls and bring them into this world. Nothing more, nothing less. That is what they are if they do not breed with people in my order. People who have the spirit conveyed, a spirit of submission to God through the top martial artist, which goes back to the word leader, which has lead, alchemy, lead into gold, and lead is heavy, which is using the subconscious processes of the mind to confuse you about what a leader is because of association. You're associating that word. So again, it is. if you haven't picked up on this by now, let me spell it out for you. Women who reject me should be ostracized from society. They have shown an, in, an appalling inability to do the right thing and choose a man based on his characteristics that are like God. No one else is transcending. Not a single other person on this planet, nor is anyone qualified to contradict me about key points such as these. Saying perhaps you made a mistake with this supporting argument in the date, in the word, it was the Philistines, not the Hittites. Fine. But when it comes to these key points, no one is qualified. It is dishonorable and extremely disgraceful to do such a thing. Who are you to do such a thing? Who are you to claim to know better than the top martial artist? You know nothing about honing your senses. You know nothing about God. Let me give you another one. The stances. The set stances. Who? Why don't these other martial artists bring it up? Either they're too ignorant or they don't have the honor. And God has honor. They don't, if that's the case, if they know. When a tall man shifts his stances in a predictable way in a system made by a smaller man, absolutely that smaller man has more time to predict and outmaneuver. And we all know that the Skywalker was black. And he had a certain footwork that we see expressed through the black genome, if you will, to this day. Men become one flesh with women. Christianity is an illusionist, scientist, mystery system 
The truth can be extracted, but it's so painful. It is so counterproductive. It is uh, 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 it's magic spell language after magic spell language being translated. Translated from Greek, which is a magic spell language, to English, which is a language, uh, magic spell language. Greek, Latin, English. The ideas are lost because they're referring to an amalgamation, a combination of truth and lie when they make a word. So again, the woman needs to merge her flesh with someone in the divine order or so help me, she will not see heaven. Her kids will not see heaven. They continue building in the wrong direction. All is lost. You bring those kids to the top martial artist, not to some mage that the West and their Jewish allies have made up. If you want to learn how to go to God, you go to the top martial artist. And even the word God is dog backwards. Such a despicable disdain for the creator, obviously spelled out for you in their despicable psychology where they use subconscious processes, which includes dyslexic kind of uh, uh, interpretations, right? Forwards and backwards. And the different way the mind interprets ideas. And there's all sorts of studies, misspelling studies and how the people, mind automatically corrects it. There's subconscious processes that are going on, subliminal messages. This is on record. The cutting edge science proves it to a fucking T. Not that someone like me needed to see that to understand the idea. As soon as you catch on to what they're doing, you don't need science to say, hey, somehow it's affecting the brain. You just look around. You just think about it. There you go. Some of us aren't bitches that need expert studies. And again, I tell you, any woman that avoids me or rejects me should be ostracized. And I would go as far as to say that she should be punished severely. We're better off stoning her to death than letting her walk around and start her own witch cult to challenge the divine order. She deserves to be stoned to death. And anyone who oversimplifies this argument deserves to die with them. Don't take it out of context or you are soulless permanently. God is not some sissy, not some moon cult bitch, not a scientist, not a feminist, not a white supremacist, not from a Western church or a Muslim or a Jewish one either. God favors the black African pure sun temple, tall, athletic, coordinate, mind, body, and soul order. And that is why he's the most stigmatized person being treated like King fucking Kong as they expect him to lash out and grab a blonde bitch by the hair and say, you will not replace me. And if he was to do it, he would be correct. Your law means nothing. I am the law.